Hi, this video is about logging into the STCA website. The STCA website, like many sites, is composed of two major halves. The front half, which contains the content, and the back end, or back half, which is how the content is managed or edited, and how the system and other information is maintained. To log into the back end, you need to go to the feedback menu item. You don't have to be on any particular page as long as the menu item is being displayed. You can get reach the staff login. If you press on the staff login button, up comes this little menu item here, or this window here. You can enter You can enter your name and password. I have done this before. The system, my browser remembers the information I've entered. And you press login and it takes you to the back end of the website. As you can see, this is very different than what you normally would see if you were in the STCA website. There is information, menu items for changing some of the system information, managing users, managing menus, Managing content, which is basically articles, like this little list here. There are components, which are tools for doing operations and making, changing some of the content and other features that are in the back end. If we returned, if we go to the front end, I'm returning to the front end here, you can see that the back end and the front end are not connected to each other. If we go down to this window here, this tells us that we have are not logged into the website because we don't have a username, we don't have a password, and it says there's a button here telling you to log in. Uh, we are still logged into the back end, but we are not logged into the front end. To log into the front end, we have basically two possibilities. One is to click on the members only function, a uh, members only function like members form, or to use the window I just displayed. If we click on the members form, since we're not logged in, it takes us to this window and shows us our username and password and asks us to fill it out to log in. So you would click on the window and type your name which is case insensitive. So any correct spelling with upper or lower case will work. The password is case sensitive, so it has to be exactly like you typed in the password, and then you would press the login button. Alternatively, you can go back to the home page, and we can scroll down to the member login area. Uh, you can type in your name and password here, and press the login button. Either one of those windows takes us to this page, which says Members Only. This is not the only page that's available to members once they're registered and logged in. Uh, but it is a, it just indicates that you have successfully logged in as a member and you're now in the system. Uh, mem members, uh, if we go back to the front page again, like I said before, the you can look down to the members login area here and now you can see it's changed radically from before it shows us our name and uh, the button has been changed to log out that indicates we are logged in as as you and now you have access to member only information there are different levels of member only information so depending on who you are and what your access is, you may see different things. One that's available to all the members that are logged in is the members form. So before when we clicked on it, it took us to a window to say to log in. Now that we're logged in and we click on this, it takes us to the form directly. Notice we're still in the front end. We still have the same menu bars as before, so we know we're still in the front end of the, of the site. Again, going back to the front end, um, 
we can see that we're logged in as as me uh, the site has like I said has different levels for instance uh, for people that have are uh, are special users like the board and some of the editors they can see additional things in the menu for instance the feedback menu has normally the first three items there are now additional items visible because we're logged in as a special user and that gives us access to parts that are being under development or under review on the site or to other member only or or only restricted access uh, features one other feature that you might re not realize but we're logged in as me if we close this window the system remembers that we're logged in so if we go back and return to the STCA site and scroll down to the member login it still sees us as logged in it's as if we had not left the site so if you ever accidentally close the window when you were logged in you do not have to re-log in just open the window again and it will continue as if you were still there